What is going on, everyone? We are back in our Bears franchise in Madden 17. It is week 14. We are getting down to the nitty-gritty of the season, so close to the playoffs, and we are still right there in the race. Six and six on the season. We're going to be taking on the Lions, but first we have a couple things to take care of. Braverman and Freeman were lost last week to injury. Put both of them on the IR, and I have replaced them with Cameron Meredith, Former wide receiver, we cut him in the preseason. He signed elsewhere. Cannot recall now where I signed him, but I stole him off of another team's practice squad. And actually, real life, he's playing very well for the Bears, so hopefully he can replicate that for us. And the other signing is going to be Nick Kwiatkowski. Kwiatkowski, I'm not sure how exactly you say his name, but he was one of the final cuts during the preseason, so we'll bring him back. Now, we're going with these guys over these options. Alonzo Russell was a guy I signed at the practice squad a few weeks ago. Liked his numbers, but seeing Cameron Meredith was out there, I decided with go, to go with him. And then Tyler Medikavich was the other option at middle linebacker. Those two guys very similarly rated, but I decided to go with Kwiatkowski just because there's a couple of things he just had a slight edge in. And then with the opening in the practice squad, I signed Christian Hackenberg. You see the options we have at quarterback. So I figured why not bring him in and see if he can develop it all. Now looking at the playoff situation, the Packers have lost last week. So we are two games behind them for the division. And this week could be huge because if we win and the Packers lose again, then it is a one game lead for the Packers and we play them next week. So in the course of two weeks, we could end up leading the NFC. North. Matthew Stafford have himself a pretty good season. 23 passing touchdowns, just six interceptions to go along with 3,100 yards. So we are going to have to deal with him today and he's going to find Theo Riddick here. We're actually midway through the first quarter. Both teams had empty drives to start this game out. So we're jumping in a little bit farther down in the action. Now third and seven as the Lions have it from the 43 yard line. Matthew Stafford dropping back. He's going to throw. He is going to find Eric Ebron out of the backfield and he is going to pick up the first down down to the 32. Stafford three of five for 46 yards. Now first and 10 from the 32-yard line. Matthew Stafford going to drop back. He makes a quick throw. He's going to find Golden Tate, and he is going to be close to that first down. They would pick it up. So first and 10 now from the 23 minutes remaining in this first quarter. It's going to be Stafford. He's going to throw the quick throw. He's going to find Ebron once again. He's got some room here looking for the end zone, but he's going to step out of bounds at the 2. But the Lions on the doorstep of the end zone here and looking to finish this drive off. It's Riddick in the backfield. He takes the snap, but no he is going to be dropped for a two-yard loss. Theo Riddick not running well here. Seven carries for nine yards. The Lions historically not a good running team. And they'll pass for it here on third and goal. And this should have been a touchdown. Ebron doesn't turn quick enough. Stafford, if he just waited a half second longer, could have had a touchdown. But instead, the Lions will get a field goal. Now enters Jay Cutler. 2,600 yards passing. 13 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. We'll see what kind of game he has today. First and 10, he's looking to go deep here. And he is going to find... Kevin White almost makes the catch, but he just drops that one. So third and six now already finding some trouble here. Cutler looking to throw. He's going to make a throw, but that's into double coverage. Should have been intercepted. That's going to be dropped, and that is going to be a punt. So we give the ball back to the Lions. They are leading it by three. You see the passing yard, 72 for the Lions, one passing yard for this Bears team. Ebron going to make another reception as the Lions continuing to look pretty good here on offense in this first half. We're in the second quarter now, first and 10 for Matthew Stafford. The handoff to Theo Riddick, and he is going to find a hole. His longest run of this first half, he's up to 23 yards now on 10 carries. First and 10 from the 46. It's going to be a pistol formation play action. Stafford going to look deep. He's going to throw facing pressure, and it's going to be intercepted. Kyle Fuller, double coverage there. He's the underneath man, makes the turn, makes the catch, and that is a huge turnover. This Bears defense has not created a ton of turnovers, but that is a very timely one there as the Lions were driving once again. Now comes Jeremy Langford, and this is actually going to be a holding call on the play, so he has a nice run there, but the center going to be called for it, so back it up now. Second and 19 from the 11-yard line as this offense has done nothing. We're midway through the second quarter here, and it's going to be Cutler here trying to find something. Kevin White will turn it up field. He'll get hit, though, down at the 23, picks up 12, sets up a manageable third down here, third and seven. Cutler looking to pick it up. we got pressure coming. We're going to go across the middle. Elshon Jeffrey with the catch. He picks up the first down, and now we'll see if this is going to jumpstart this drive here. Let's get the ball moving. First and 10 from the 34. Cutler under center going to drop back. And there is an open receiver, Kari Lee, streaking down the middle of the field, wide open as he picks up the first down across the 50. We're now at the 36, second and seven play action. Cutler dropping way back, and we're going up for Elshon Jeffrey. Had it in his hands. He cannot come down with it, so that is now going to set up third and seven. 
and on third and seven, it's going to be a play action. Cutler looking. We've got an open receiver. It's Kevin White. He makes the catch, and he is down inside the 20. We make our first red zone appearance here. Under four to go in the second quarter. It's first and 10. Cutler, the quick throw. It's Kevin White. So happy to have this guy back as he gets it inside the 10. Now first and goal. Jordan Howard going to take his first carry of the game. He's going to die for the end zone, and he's going to make it in. Touchdown, Bears, as we will take the lead late in this first half. And now actually final play of the second quarter. Pretty insignificant play here, but it is going to end in an interception. Tracy Porter with the pick. I'm not really sure what Stafford was doing there, but we do get the turnover. And it will be a low-scoring 7-3 game as we head into halftime. We'll have the ball to start the third quarter. Second and nine. Cutler dropping back, looking, facing pressure. We cannot get it away quick enough, though. We had a receiver open. Didn't see him in time. Haloti Nada with the sack. So third and 15 as we try to keep this drive going to start the third quarter. And that is a horrible throw. Honestly, I'm not really sure what I was looking at there. DeAndre Levy, just an absolute gift to him right there as he gets the easy interception. Now the Lions with a short field. Stafford, quick drop, going to make the throw. And Quan Bolden with the catch now inside the 20 down to the 17 as Stafford hits 100 yards passing for the day. Now second and 11, it's going to be Stafford throwing it once again. He's facing pressure. He's going to the corner of the end zone, and he is going to find Golden Tate. A beautiful pass from Matthew Stafford. Nice job from Tate, keeping both feet in bounds. And the Lions have retaken the lead off of our stupid turnover. So now second and 11, Bears looking to come back here. Jeremy Langford going to pick up 11 on the play as he gets close to the first and actually make that 10 as it's going to be third and one now. And it's going to be Langford, and he is going to be stood up. Horrible play there. We missed the cut on that one, so we have to punt. We pin the Lions deep. So now our opportunity here to get some good field position as Theo Riddick got nowhere to go on that play. Now third and 11 from the three. I formation, the Lions will be running it. Theo Riddick is going to be stopped once again. So we will get the ball back, and we have some pretty good field position actually at the 36. Not great field position, but we'll see if we can come back now. Second and 10, it's going to be Marquise Wilson. And with the catch up and over as he flips Cutler still looking to get to 100 yards passing for this game three minutes remaining in the third quarter here's Jimmy Langford gets the first down on third and one this time we're able to get it he's got just 26 yards on 10 carries it's been a rough day for this offense against the Lions defense which I did not think was going to be this tough but Jordan Howard looking for the outside nowhere to go there he picks up three on the play so another third down here as Cutler going to drop back he's looking he's throwing and the timing route works to perfection as Marquise Wilson with the catch and Cutler finally over 100 yards passing for the game. Now first and 10. It's going to be play action. It's Cutler ranging to his right. He's looking, just going to dump it down to Miller. And Zach Miller gets a nice block there from Elshon Jeffrey. And he is going to carry himself down to the five-yard line. So now second and goal, looking for the end zone. Cutler the throw. Kevin White, and he is going to have his fifth receiving touchdown of the season. And the Bears have retaken the lead now we'll see if we can hold on to it this time. First and 10 from the 41. The Lions begin their drive. Matthew Stafford play action. He's looking to go deep, and he is going to nearly be successful. A huge hit put on there by Cordy as that dislodges ball from receiver. So second and 10, the Lions going back to it, and Bullard coming in, and he's going to force the fumble, and it's going to be picked by Pernell McPhee, and he is going to take it to the house. I don't know if you're going to call that an interception. I think it's just a fumble recovery, but a beautiful play by both defenders there as you see the rookie Bullard just coming in Perfectly gets to Stafford just as he's starting to throw it. Forces the fumble. McPhee just uh, lucky to be there. Perfect time. Right place at the right time. And he is going to be the recipient of an easy, easy touchdown. And that is something that we needed dearly as that will extend the lead. Now 21-10 to 10, as that makes it a little bit easier on the defense. As this time Stafford a little rattled I think as that was an easy pass for him to complete. That could have been a huge game. But instead it's going to be incomplete. Now second and 10. It's going to be Eric Ebron with the reception. He'll He'll pick up four on the play, but it's going to be third down now in five. And the Lions, at the two-minute warning here, needs to pick up this first down. Stafford looking. He's got a lot of time to throw, but no one's open. He's finally going to make the throw, and he is going to find a receiver open. And that is going to be Marvin Jones making the catch. And on second and ten, the Lions at the 27. Stafford throwing again. It's going to be Anquan Bolden. Tries to get out of bounds. Did he get there? No, he did not. Still in bounds. So now first and goal, Stafford looking. He's going to face pressure, and he cannot get it away. No one was open. Probably smart for him to hold on to it, but Leonard Floyd with the sack. And now second and goal, the Lions rushing back to the line of scrimmage, and it's going to be Stafford with the throw, and he's going to find Eric Ebron. Beats the secondary, and he has a receiving touchdown. Now the Lions going for two. Is this game not over yet? Definitely not over yet, as that is the two-point conversion. It's now a three-point game, and the Lions are an onside kick away from having the chance to win this one. 
Fortunately though, although it's very close, that, that nearly was a disaster. We do recover it. So one first down will put the game to rest and Jeremy Langford will have the honors and he even gets a little bit extra there. As he gets the first down, Lions call timeout, but they cannot stop it anymore and we get a hard fought win. Was not pretty at all. That was a pretty ugly game, to be honest. As you see the offensive numbers, we just barely went over 200 yards of total offense. The Lions, really no running game, but we knew that was going to happen. But the takeaways, really the story of this one, three takeaways for the Bears defense. Stafford goes 21 of 30 for 245, two touchdowns and two interceptions. Cutler, uninspiring here, 13 of 22 for 141 touchdown, one interception. Looking at the running game, it's going to be Jeremy Langford, not, a, not too great of a game, just 14 carries for 50 yards. Theoretic 16 for 38, Cutler 5 for 13, Howard 2 for 11, but most importantly, had that touchdown. And then looking at the receiving, Eric Ebron with a game 6 for 62 and a touchdown, Bolden 4 for 57, Kevin White will lead us with 5 for 48 in a TD, Marvin Jones for 45, Riddick for 40, and then we have to go way down here, Alshon Jeffrey just one catch for 11 yards, Darius Slade did a nice job of shutting him down, and then on defense, it's going to be Glover Quinn with 10 tackles, Tracy Porter with 9 to go along with that interception, Leonard Floyd with 8, he's also going to add 2 tackles for loss, quite a few guys here with 2 tackles for loss, but McPhee and Floyd will be the 2 Bears, and then the sacks, 2 to Danny Trevay, then one to Unrine, and then we're going to have one for McPhee and Floyd. And I believe someone might have a half sack down here. Nope, that's going to be Lions there with the half sacks. And then the interceptions go to Levy, Fuller, and Porter. So we get the win. And MVP for this week, I'm going to keep it on the defense. They did a pretty good job, and I'm going to give it to Leonard Floyd. He had a sack to go along with two tackles for loss and eight tackles. He will be MVP of Week 14. If you disagree, let me know in the comments down below who you think was MVP of this week. Pretty hard to pick one. Not really any big standouts there as two teams. Not two great teams uh, going to battle in this one. But we get the win. We are 7-6 and six now. The Packers unfortunately won as well. So no time for the division this coming week. But week 15, another big game as every game to end the season is going to be huge in terms of our playoff chances. But we will be hosting the 9-4 and four Packers in week 15. Make sure you do not miss this one. This is going to be a humongous game. But that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.